If your luck is about as bad as mine is, these flat tires seem to happen at the worst possible times. The question is, should you use a tire repair product for a temporary fix or even a permanent fix for off-road applications using products like tire slime or fix-a-flat? Do they actually work? Do they cause damage in corrosion? And are they flammable? Well, we're gonna do a lot of testing on these products today and see which one of these is the best. We'll be testing these products on these four tires and we'll see just how good these products work. This rim has had a lot of corrosion and this is untreated steel. So the question is, will these products cause corrosion? We're gonna test these products on this untreated metal strip and see how much corrosion occurs over the next 24 hours. Have you ever wondered what type of solids are inside of these products? We're gonna find out. Not all the products we're testing are designed for on-road purposes, but this product is. This is designed for both car and trailer. Slime claims to be tire sensor safe. Emergency flat tire repair, tire sealant, seals instantly, no jack needed, safe and easy. Instantly seals tread and punctures up to a quarter inch diameter in size. Works safe in extreme temperatures. Safe for finished metal wheels. Non-flammable and non-toxic, cleans up with water. I'll be using a drywall screw to poke a hole in this tire. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than this quarter inch drill bit. Dosage information is on the back of this label. We'll be using 16 ounces since we'll be using this in a full-size tire. Position valve and upper half of tire. Slowly remove valve core with tool and cap. Allow tire to fully deflate. Remove object if possible. Attach hose and squeeze in slime. Reinstall valve core. Just add air. Drive stop, verify seal, and check tire pressure. Right at 30 pounds of pressure, we'll check back tomorrow to see if there's any loss of tire pressure. I'm gonna rotate this tire so the tire slime is able to reach the hole. Right there is where the hole in the tire is, and you can see a few air bubbles coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and face this down so the slime can continue to do its job. We'll be testing the original Fix-A-Flat. This 16 ounce can is designed for a standard tire. Repair without jack or tools. Non-flammable formula. Fix-A-Flat repairs and inflates in seconds, seals up to a quarter inch punctures, and is tire sensitive safe. For best results, remove car slightly so that the puncture is in the six o'clock position. Make sure the tire is fully deflated before use. Shake can vigorously for 30 seconds before attaching hose to tire. Remove cap, unwind hose, and tightly screw nozzle clockwise onto tire valve. Hold can upright and push button down firmly. Product will be activated automatically. Only when product stops moving through the clear hose, release the button, then unscrew the hose. There's still contents left in this can, but it's no longer moving through the hose, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. Only if rim is lifted off the ground, drive vehicle immediately a short distance, two to four miles, to allow tire pressure to increase and sealant to spread evenly inside the tire. If needed, add air up to manufacturer's recommended pressure. Have tire repaired by tire professional within three days or 100 miles, whichever comes first. Okay, we're right at 30 pounds of pressure with fix a flat. Unfortunately, the fix a flat hole is still there. You can see there's been a lot of leakage, so I'm gonna go ahead and face this downward so fix a flat can continue to do its job. Unfortunately, the fix a flat didn't do the job, so I'm gonna add another can of fix a flat to see if maybe we just had a bad can of the product. This is the fix a flat tire. It is flat right now, so we'll come back to this right before we drive the vehicle. I'll add the fix a flat again and see if it'll work this time. Multi seal tire sealant uses DuPont Kevlar. Now this product, unlike the other ones we'll be testing, is only designed for off-road purposes. This product claims to be able to fix a hole that's up to a half inch while the competition's only a quarter inch. It claims to work for 10 plus years while the competition only lasts from zero to two years. Regarding cleanup, stays liquid, easy cleanup with water. The competition uses latex and adhesive, making it a sticky mess. Rotate tire so valve stem is near the top of the tire. Remove valve stem cap. Do not remove cap from this bottle. Pull on the disc on the top cap until a hose is fully extended. Tug gently to remove the disc from the end of the hose. Use the tool on the bottom of the disc to remove valve core. Allow tire to deflate fully. Attach hose to valve stem. Firmly squeeze bottle to install sealant. Replace valve core. Inflate tire to manufacture recommended pressure. Replace valve stem cap. Right at 30 pounds of pressure with multi-seal. Drive a short distance to distribute sealant inside tire. You can see where the multi-seal is going to work on this hole in the tire. 
The tire jack kit includes tire jack on-road tire sealant, a sealant applicator cap, and a valve core tool and valve stem cap. Tire jack is designed to seal bead leaks and emergency tire repair up to a quarter inch punctures. Tire jack is designed for on-road highway speed tires. We'll be testing this on a full-size truck, so we'll be using two pouches. Tire jack only has four steps. Step one is to deflate the tire and remove the valve core. Attach cap to pouch, push hose over valve stem, flip open the stem of cap, squeeze contents of pouch into tire. Reinstall valve core, inflate tire, and drive or rotate for several minutes. Add the red tire jack valve cap to mark the tire. Okay, we have right at 30 pounds of pressure with the tire jack wheel. It appears that tire jack has stopped the air leak you can see the product on this tire. Since one of our products is not designed for on-road use, I'm gonna go ahead and do some off-roading and we'll see how these products work. Okay, after four miles, unfortunately, Fix It Flat is not working. It's leaking pretty badly, and by tomorrow morning, I expect this tire is going to be flat. Looks like the multi seal did a great job. I'm not seeing any sort of leak where the hole is at. Looks like the tire slime did a great job. I'm not seeing any leaking where the hole is at. Tire jack seems to be doing a great job as well. No sort of leaking where the hole is at. We're going to check the tire pressure in each one of these tires in about 15 hours. Tire repair shops typically don't like these products because it makes a mess. So at the end of this video, we're going to take the tires off of each one of these rims and look inside to see what things look like. Since a lot of wheels have alloy construction, we're going to see if these products cause damage to aluminum. A lot of wheels have some type of protective coating. So will these products cause damage to this zinc coated washer? While not advertised or designed to remove corrosion, is it possible these products could actually do some good? If these products freeze while inside of a tire, it could cause the tire to be out of balance. So do these products freeze in extreme cold temperatures? temperatures. A quick look at the safety data sheet for slime. It contains glycerol, adipulgite, cellulose, and quartz. Not too much information on multi-seal. It contains propylene glycol. For tire jack, it contains propylene glycol and natural rubber latex. So if you're allergic to latex, this could be a problem. Fix-a-flat tire sealant inflator contains tetrafluoropropene, glycerol, and cellulose. We'll check back in 24 hours to see if these products cause corrosion. This freezer is set to 15 below zero. We're gonna see if that causes these products to turn into a solid after they've been in there for 24 hours. We're gonna try to see if we can find out what is inside each of these products. I'm gonna shake these up real well, add it to the strainer and see if we can filter out any sort of particles. There are some very small black particles inside of the tire slime. Wow, that's some thick pasty stuff. Multi-seal tire sealant seems to be a lot gooier than tire slime. This stuff is really thick and you can see the size of the particles that are inside of it are a lot larger than in tire slime. I'm not seeing particles of anything, so I'm not exactly sure how Fix-A-Flat fills a quarter inch hole, but I don't see any sort of particles that would be used to wedge into the hole. I don't see any sort of particles, but I do see some globs, so I'm not sure exactly how this product works. This stuff became like a glue very quickly. Look at that. I'll go ahead and remove each of the nails from the test cups, rinse them off with water, and we'll take a closer look at each one of them. It does not appear that any of these products removed any rust. There's no visible damage to the zinc coating on any of these washers. None of these products seem to cause any damage to the aluminum. Our control is only exposed to air and there's no visible rust on our control. No visible corrosion with the tire slime. You can see the black specks, that's normal. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off some of this tire slime and get a closer look at the metal. There does not appear to be any visible rust with Fix-A-Flat. Okay, no visible rust. The multi-seal is drying out in some areas and there doesn't appear to be any rust. With multi-seal, there's definitely a little bit of change in color with some of the steel. I can't really tell if this is rust or not, but there's been some type of change. There appears to be surface oxidation with tire jack, but I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with water and get a closer look. Lower on the steel, there appears to be some surface rust that started. 
tire jack is sort of hard to clean up. There's still quite a bit of tire jack that is glued to this piece of metal. As far as ease of cleanup, multi-seal is the easiest, then tire slime, then fix a flat, and finally tire jack, because tire jack leaves a coating that doesn't want to come off with water. I'm gonna open up the freezer now and see if any of these products froze. Fix a flat. Yeah, fix a flat. Look at that. Multi-seal didn't freeze. It's actually still like a gel. I'm very impressed. Multi-seal stayed more in a gel than tire slime, but tire slime would still seem like it would do its job. Tire jack is also still in a gel-like state. Multi-seal seems the best. Tire jack second, slime third, and fix a flat fourth. Unfortunately, fix a flat did not fix the flat. I'm gonna go ahead and see how much tire pressure is in this tire. About four pounds of pressure with fix a flat. The tire jack tire is definitely holding pressure. Tire jack still has 30 pounds of pressure. Tire slime is still 30 pounds of pressure. Multi-seal still has 30 pounds of pressure. All these products are designed to handle up to a quarter inch hole, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a quarter inch bolt to poke a hole in each one of these tires. Okay, this is the original hole with tire jack. I'm gonna put a little bit of Windex on it to see if we still have any sort of bubbling or any leaking. It appears that the hole is sealed. This is a quarter inch bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and drive this bolt into the original hole to make it larger to see if tire jack can actually seal up a larger hole. The bolt is fully in the tire. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and we'll see if it's going to seal it up. I've got the hole in the tire straight down so the tire jack can make its way into the hole. The tire slime appears to have done a great job repairing this hole. It doesn't appear to be leaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive this quarter inch spike into the tire. I'm gonna face this all the way straight down and let the tire slime go to work on this hole. This is the original hole with multi-seal. It doesn't look like there's any sort of leaking. I'm gonna put this tire back on the vehicle and drive it for about five miles. And when we come back, we'll take these wheels off and see if they're still leaking. I just finished driving five miles, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wheel and we'll take a closer look at the hole to see if it's still leaking. This is where the hole is at in the tire. I'm gonna spray some Windex on it to see if we have any sort of bubbling. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Tire jack did the job, it does not appear to be leaking. You can definitely see where the hole is at. It is a big hole. Let's see if it's still leaking. Okay, Tire Slime did the job. Very impressive performance by Tire Slime. So we're gonna see if Multi-Seal fully sealed up this hole. Okay, Multi-Seal did the job. I like to test the claims of manufacturers and Multi-Seal claims that their product can handle up to a half inch puncture. So I'm actually gonna use a 3 8 inch landscape spike to see if it can handle a hole that size. I placed a pretty sharp tip on this landscape spike, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to drive it into the tire and make the hole even bigger. Now that's a lot of damage. It's gonna be very interesting to see if multi-seal can stop the leak. I'm gonna see if I can get this landscape spike out now. So is Multi-Seal able to stop the leak from this landscape spike? <laughs> Absolutely. The hole is no longer leaking and there is definitely tire pressure in this tire. We're gonna take the tires off of each one of these rims and look inside to see what things look like. I've broken a beat on this tire and as you can see, the fix a flat is oozing everywhere. So if you work at a tire shop, you've probably seen this before and it's probably something that you don't like too much. You can see fix a flat is all over the rim. Doesn't seem to be too big of a mess because this stuff doesn't really turn into a slime like some of the other products. There's still a big puddle of fix a flat inside the tire. Okay, this stuff's not caused tire slime without good cause. This stuff makes a huge mess. You see the tire slime is gradually creeping towards the bottom of the tire. This stuff tends to make a big mess. That's where the original puncture was at. That tire slime was able to repair. When tire jack dries, it seems to become very stringy. Here's the damage to the tire jack tire.
This is multi-seal, as you can see, this stuff has created some slime just about everywhere, and I expect this is gonna be really messy to remove because we added 32 ounces of this product into this tire. As you can see, there's still a lot of multi-seal inside this tire. Look at the size of the damage to this tire. This stuff really did an amazing job patching up this large hole. Other than jumper cables, the most important tool I have in my vehicle is a portable tire pressure pump. These things have saved me on several occasions and I've been able to help other people out as well. The first time you use it, you'll think that your 15 to $25 was extremely well spent and I highly recommend carrying one of these just so you can help yourself out or help others in a time of need. All the products tested contain just enough contents to repair one full size tire. fix -A flat was the least expensive product at only $6.83, then Tire Slime at $8.99. Multi-seal and Tire Jack were quite a bit more expensive. fix -A flat seems like the easiest product to use, but Tire Jack was a close second. Tire Jack small pouches are very easy to empty out quickly. Multi Multi seal required 32 ounces into the tire, but it flowed a lot easier than tire slime, which took the longest amount of time and the most effort. So is tire slime the best? In my opinion, it is the best for on-road purposes. However, multi seal seems like it's an overall better product for off-road purposes. Now, regarding the other products we tested, tire jack seems like it works fairly well. Unfortunately, we didn't have very good success with fix -A flat Maybe it was just me. I tried four different cans of the product and did not receive good results with any of them. Anyway, I had a lot of fun testing these different types of products. I always look forward to reading your comments and especially your video ideas. As usual, just want to say thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.